super focused and super accomplished in something that I'm, I program computer-wise. And so I program these amazing, fantastic things. But then it gets to the end where it's like kind of wrap it all up as a package that other people can be just as excited as I am about it. And that's where I just, maybe that's my step five completion moment where I have the contrast of like, I'm not quite there and I'm back in step one. But here's the thing. You had to be really ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to give them something that they're ready for. And they were not nearly as ready to be ready as you were, but you gave them something that you'd already gotten ready and now they're observing it and so they're ready enough for that. But we want to say to you, as much fun as they're going to have with whatever it is you've created, they're not having nearly the satisfaction from it that you had. And further, even though it feels to you that you've come to the end of your energy flowing there, you're not to the end of your energy flowing. It's like we visited with a man one day and he was telling us that he had lost his fortune and he didn't see how he could possibly start over again at this age. And we said, you are not taking into account your vibrational currency. You're not even factoring in what you've created over here, what's in your vortex. We weren't using the term vortex in those days, but he was not factoring in all that he had access to. He was strictly evaluating his life in terms of the manifestation that had already happened. And so once you have burst your manifestation into the world, you're still this energetic flower of energy and the next birthing will be more dynamic and more satisfying, you see. And so part of it is knowing that. And part of it is knowing this. I haven't said this before in this way. So you are ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. And you gave birth to something that's magnificent. And now, you're out in this manifested world that we've been talking about, which is the starting place of all of our conversation here. And now you're focused back into the contrast more than you need to be. And that's what's bogging you down. And that's what's keeping there from being a steady next idea and next idea and next idea. That made sense to you, didn't it? And you all are sort of doing the same thing. We're so pleased to be having this conversation because after all, it hasn't been that long since you all thought that the main event was the manifestation. And so it's like, now you've got the relationship. Now it's not all that exciting anymore. Now that you've live on the Island all the time, it's not all that exciting anymore. And it's because you were banking on the manifestation, holding you forever more. And all it was, was just the byproduct of this getting ready to be ready, to be ready, to be ready, to be ready, to be ready. You're just going to keep that satisfaction stream going and going and going and going. So it goes like this. So you knew what you didn't want. You knew what you did want. You got up to speed with what you did want. You found the vibrational place of it and boom, it had to manifest. And along with its manifestation came a whole new set of contrasting experiences to give birth to a whole new set of desires and a whole new energy refreshment. 